Hi everyone and welcome to uh, yet another lesson um, on RSWAT scripting and today we're going to see how to get the values for our variables in RSWAT. Uh, so the most important menu in RSWAT for scripters is the view menu. Here we can see uh, lots of different things. For examples we can see objects and if we click on view objects then we can see all of the different RS objects that are in RuneScape. For example, this bank booth here has got the value 11402. This one has 2. So all of these bank booths here have got the same 11402 value. So in your script uh, you could access this um, bank booth by using the 11402 uh, ID. And oops, sorry about that. Um, rocks and trees and so on all uh, can be seen by using the objects uh, sub menu. <laughs> then, sorry about the code I've got. We can also see NPCs. For example, these bankers have got uh, the women have got different IDs to the men, but in overall they are very similar. Five nine zero one two and five nine one three are their IDs and so they are the other bankers. So that's NPCs. We can see models that doesn't interest us, players, uh, their names and the levels. They have no IDs. Ground items, settings, the mouse, which is the actual X. Uh, the inventory IDs, so now I can't see them, and if I enable it, I can see the inventory IDs. Animation, so if my player isn't doing anything, it will be minus one, and if I'm doing something, such as for example, this, you'll see my animation changes to 1989 during the time I am doing this um, thing so whilst I'm converting uh, chocolate vast chocolate dust I've got a certain animation and that works too with mining, with coding, um, passing through obstacles in agility and with everything basically. Then we can see a player position appears there my my position is uh, 3182, 3438, and if I want to walk from here to a different place, then I just click on the minimap. I jot down the new position, so now I've got two positions in my path. I got three positions when I click there, and eventually I end up with. Um, sorry about that. I end up with a path. Uh, and then I can use a walking method such as walk path mm, which I'll explain in a later tutorial, uh, to walk the path from one end to another. So that's the place position, very important um, uh, debugging thing, uh, debugging option. Then I can see also the mouse position, which is especially useful in case you want to move the mouse to a certain place. Uh, you have to know the coordinates inside the RSWAT screen. You know, it changes, you see changes with um, every time I move the mouse. And also, if you want to click in a determined uh, place, for example, if you want to click in the smithing skill, you want to move your mouse uh, to somewhere inside the smithing icon. And you can only do that by using the, smith the, the mouse position coordinates. Uh, so, you create a box with the coordinates and then you click anywhere inside there, randomizing it. I'll explain that in a later tutorial too. And apart from that, actual mouse position is just to define the mouse position inside your whole screen and not inside the R spot window. You don't want to use that. The rest is just um, something you may want to use very uh, little times, just camera position and camera angle. If you want to adjust the camera altitude, you'll see it ranges from 1024 to 3072. Uh, you may want to change the camera angle in your script or something similar. 
but yeah, I don't really use it very much. Um, me knowing what I'm doing, so I usually randomize the camera angle a bit uh, in my anti band, but I don't know exactly in what angle I'm landing, if you know what I mean. Uh, so that's it. I usually walk around with the position and animation and the mouse and inventory um, debugged. You may want to walk around with the objects too, although that can be a bit um, annoying at some times. Oh, I forgot. Doors are also defined in the objects. So if the doors open, there will be an object just before the door. And if the doors closed, there will be a different object just before the door. Uh, so you can use that to, uh, if you, you see whether an object exists or not and if this 24388 object doesn't exist then another different object will have to exist and you'll know that the door is closed uh, we'll see that more in depth <coughs> in a future tutorial uh, so that's uh, gathering your uh, values for now and just uh, remember to subscribe in the little button above it's yellow and comment rate and just enjoy the programming and good luck with it.